You're listening to Mammal Watching with Charles Foley and John Hall. You can find other episodes at mammalwatching.com slash podcast. The bat had been underneath one of the smallish coconut palms, but this time they'd moved and they were under a rather a tall coconut palm, you know, this is 25, 30 feet up. I don't know, it was ridiculously high, but I was really determined to catch them and have a close look at them. The cook found me a, an abandoned stepladder, which had, I think, at least two broken rungs, and it was very rickety. So the whole thing was extremely unsafe and rickety, and I was sort of balanced on top of this stepladder looking at the bats with this very uh, wobbly pole, and, this, and I was thinking, how am I going to do this? And sort of just slowly edging closer and closer, and then whack and I caught four bats, uh, but I fell off the stepladder and landed on the ground. But I was so thrilled, I was so thrilled because they were in fact the smoky bats and it was really, really exciting. Of course, my mother thought it was just, oh darling, why do you like bats so much? It was only a five seater plane. So they, they took the luggage and said, oh, we'll just put the luggage in the nose of the plane. And I was very reluctant about this, but I was forced to, put my bag with all, all the artwork in the nose of the plane. And then we took off and the plane, um, the pilot started getting really anxious and talking on the radio to somebody. And, and I was the only one on the plane who spoke Spanish. And I could understand what was going on. And one of the hatches had come loose in the front of the plane. So there was my artwork oh, in the no. hatch. And I, and I thought, oh, no. And I'm looking out the window, and it's just this big swamp forest all the way there. I'm trying to, I was like asking him, well, where are we? <laughs> and my mother goes, darling, don't worry about your artwork. We're all going to die. If it hits the rubber, then we're all going to die. Never mind your artwork. And I'm like, well, I might as well die if I have to lose that much artwork. Anyway. <laughs> For me, there's this huge sort of aha moment when you see a new bat. If, I, if you going to Africa and going out on safari is really wonderful and I wouldn't knock it at all. But for me, going to look at like lions and zebras and stuff is just like wasting my time because I can see all those <laughs> yes. on TV. And, you know, whereas if you, if you find something that you have no idea what it looks like, especially in my case, if it's something I've drawn for a book and there are basically decent photos and you know just dealing like with the sitterops you know it's this incredible like wow that's what it looks like you know that's what his face is like and that's what it's doing and 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 there's always good stories because nobody knows much about them so you can discover things just you know easily if you'd like to listen to the full episode then visit mammalwatching.com slash podcast